Morning guys, how are you all today? So, all morning I have been working my backside off whilst watching UFC 170, which to me was just a little bit boring, bit of a disappointment. Ronda Rousey, I cannot stand that woman. I was hoping Sarah McCann was going to batter her, but as it turns out, it was a premature finish, which you guys will know all about. <laughs> Um, and uh, yeah, that was a bit crap. The Daniel Cormier fight was crap. Um, the uh, uh, I've forgotten his name now. Uh, Damia, no, Damian Meyer. Sorry, Damia. Uh, Damian Meyer fight was a bit crap as well with Rory McDonald. So a little bit disappointed really with UFC 170. Let's hope the next one is better. A good result for Arsenal yesterday. Um, really loved that result. Thank God we needed it. It was about time. And, yeah, like I say, I've been working all morning whilst doing that as well. And I kind of got ready to go out because I'm going to go grab some uh, breakfast. And I sort of thought, what have I not done? Because, you know, when you're locking up the house and stuff and you're like, have I forgotten something? Have I forgotten something? Keys, blah, 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 blah. And then I realised the thing that I'd forgot was to vlog. It was the first time in absolutely ages when I've, it's just completely skipped my mind. And I've completely forgotten. It was a very, very strange feeling. But what can you do? So uh, organised a new giveaway last night with uh, Mike, Danny and Dom. So really looking forward to announcing that at some stage this week. I think you guys are going to like it. So keep an eye out on the main channel for that one. And also I just had a little bit of a rant on Twitter because sometimes people ask me questions that they should just Google. You know, like I don't have much time as it is and I'd like to answer the questions that only I can answer to people. So when people say to me, what is the temperature in Istanbul? Um, how do you make an Amazon affiliate uh, site? Blah, blah, blah. It's like, man, please, like, Google is your friend.com. Like, please, just go and Google it because you're taking up the time when someone could have been asking me a question that only I could answer. And it's like, some people, I swear, they think I'm like their PA or something on Twitter. They just ask me, like, the most random questions and expect me to answer because I quite like to actually answer people and not be rude and just ignore them uh, as much as I can anyway. I think I get about 85%. Uh, at the moment, I you know I, I do like to answer, but I don't like to answer and be like, man, go fucking Google that shit because you're annoying me. Um, <laughs> so yeah, but it is just one of those things, I suppose. What can you do? I've got to admit though, answering all of the Twitters, Facebooks, reading all the comments, all of this kind of sh stuff, where it's sort of everything's growing so rapidly, it's getting almost impossible to keep up with it all, and it makes me think in the future. You know, what am I going to do? Am I just going to ignore some people on Twitter or, or what? I mean, like, have you guys got any ideas about that? I mean, what are you actually meant to do? You can't physically, as your numbers of Twitter followers increase, you can't just sit there all day answering people on Twitter uh, and Facebook. So it's like, you know, what are you meant to do about it? I guess it, you do have to get to the point where you just ignore people, I guess. But that sounds just awful. Um... I said that, like someone had just died. Just awful. Uh, you know, it's not obviously not that awful. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? I mean, what, what would you, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. Anyway, I'd be interested to hear. I'm going to go grab some breakfast, be back in a bit. So, been out, had some lunch, had some breakfast. Uh, had a reasonably decent day, actually. Although now I've just got so much work to do this evening, I'm kind of not looking forward to it. But I guess it's one of those things that just has to be done. I'm really kind of getting excited about this Twitter client that I'm putting together as well. It's really kind of coming together now. And it makes me think, you know, maybe it could be reasonably successful. Maybe it's going to do reasonably well. Uh, obviously, it'll be a paid-for app. I'm not quite sure of the price yet. I'm sort of thinking around the sort of $2.99, dollars 59 kind of price, pounds. £1.59 or $2.99, something like that. Um, but I'm kind of thinking, you know, if I do a really good job, uh, initially I was kind of thinking, yeah, you know, I'll sell a couple of thousand copies. But now I'm sort of thinking, well, you know, is there any real reason why it shouldn't sell a lot more than that? You know, maybe 10,000, 20,000, 100,000. And the more I think about it, the more I think, well, as you look through the Play Store, for example, some of the apps on there have been downloaded five million times, uh, some of the Twitter apps. So is there any, or more, in fact, actually on some of them. So is there any real reason stopping my particular app being paid for and bought uh, and downloaded more than 10,000 times, for example. I'm not really sure, but it's quite exciting to think about the potential. I don't ever let myself get carried away with anything until 
um, like I've said it before, you know, don't count your cash until it's in your bank account because otherwise you're living on uh, pipe dreams for the rest of your life or uh, non-existent money, spending money that you don't yet have. So always be careful about that. I've always been very, very careful about that myself because I've I've spent money that I didn't have before when I was younger. I've sort of been owed money or thought I was going to earn a certain amount of money and then it's not come to fruition and then you end up having spent money that you don't have. So my rule for a very, very long time now has always been don't ever spend money that you don't have in your hand or in your bank uh, at any one time because you can really come unstuck. But anyway, there's just some thoughts there that were just natively running through my head completely randomly uh, about that particular Twitter thing. Who knows? Maybe it could be quite successful. Um, I don't know. I've never, I've, I've not thought about it before today on that kind of level. I've just thought of it as like a little bit of something to do. And then someone said to me, "Well, why? You know, why? Should, what, what's the reason why you wouldn't sell?" A whole bunch of these and it might actually make a little bit of profit and I thought well yeah maybe that is true who knows we'll have to wait and see about that I don't like to fantasize about um, things like that anyway so uh, also I thought I'd tell you guys about this now one of the uh, portable batteries that I've used for a long 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 time is this uh, this is a new Trent IMP 120d uh, 12,000 milliamp hour battery and it's got two uh, USB outputs uh, a 1 amp and a 2.1 amp and it's phenomenal because this thing will charge, charge a whole iPad almost uh, and it will charge an iPhone or a, or a Nexus or whatever five six times over and it's not a huge package it's a reasonably decent sized package I know some of you guys like a bit of a decent sized package uh, but yeah this is one of them but then a lot of people are always asking me about these so this is a Mophie juice pack now this is um, where does it say? I don't think it actually says the milliamp hour, but I think it's only maybe 1500 milliamp hour or something like that. And this is specifically for the iPhone, obviously, because it's got a certain shape to it. And a lot of people always ask me the question, what is better, a battery pack or a juice pack? So I thought, well, rather than guess uh, or say I don't know the answer, I'm going to go out and buy one of these. And this, would you believe it? £120 from my local Apple store. £120 for that. Uh, these little batteries, you can pick these up on eBay, not this one specifically, but a similar milliamp hour one for £10, £20, $20, $30. Uh, I'm not quite sure how much the Mophie pack is in dollars, but in the UK, ridiculously expensive. £120 is the equivalent to about $180. So to give you guys in the States an idea of how much we got ripped off for that. So... My outcome or my findings of both of these is that there's nowhere near enough juice in this for it to be very useful. It recharges your iPhone to about 80%. That's it. Uh, it's quite bulky. It's not particularly attractive. It makes the phone really horrible to hold. Um, and it's just not, a, I don't think it's a particularly fantastic device if I'm honest. Whereas this, you chuck it in your pocket or whatever, in your car, whatever it might be. Yes, you've got to have a cable. Uh, that, that, that plugs into it. Guys, I'm so sorry, I don't know what happened there. Um, I was recording away, and then all of a sudden I looked at the stopwatch on my clock, and it had, uh, on my clock, on my phone, where it says how long it's recording for, and it had stopped, so I was just talking away for God knows how long, and then I looked back to where it ended, and I was halfway through talking absolute crap about battery chargers, and I was re listening to it thinking, I have no idea um, if any of you guys are even interested in this. It's just that I get asked the question so much about these Mophie juice packs versus normal batteries, what one should you buy, uh, that I thought I would just kind of tell you guys openly what my opinion was. But probably no one gives a crap <laughs> about it. But definitely I would say don't go with the juice pack, get yourself a battery pack that you can just plug in uh, with some decent cables, you know, like the little kind of pulley ones, the stretchy ones, so they don't take up much room. In fact, I've got one here. This is a network cable, but you know what I mean? Like this kind of um, this kind of setup, this sort of thing. So, yes, that is Adam's Sunday afternoon chat about boring battery packs. Um, I don't know about you, but I've got a kind of thing about battery packs. I've, I've got so many different ones, and I really do just think that they're fantastic. I've, I know that they're only a battery, but I just find them so useful when you're travelling uh, or out and about or um, various different situations. I just find them ridiculously useful uh, to keep on you and to sort of carry around. I have one in the car all the time that's plugged into a USB port and permanently charging in case I ever need it and I can just unplug it and take it away. 
So that's kind of how much I love my battery packs. But again, I know it is a very sad, uh, a very ridiculous uh, subject. But today, I know the vlog has been kind of short today, so I guess a lot of you will be a little bit disappointed in that. But I've just been so crazily busy today that I just have not had uh, any time to do it. And there's certain situations where I, I, I prefer to sort of keep things off camera, uh, certain scenarios. So that's kind of uh, why, pardon me. But that is it from me today, guys. Have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will be back with you all tomorrow. Peace.